okay guys so to begin with make sure to have a dark background for this to work to really create that dramatic lighting effect and also add some light color as i do have on my background which kind of depicts the light or the direction of the light and that is really really necessary now once you have that what you want to do is you want to create a new layer and i have selected this brown really dark brown kind of color and i'm filling the whole layer with this color and then i'm just going to clipping mask it to the main subject and i'm just going to change the layer mode to multiply now you can use any dark color it can be blue purple it's up to you but i'd suggest using a dark deep brown kind of color so that's what i've done right here and yeah just do that and then what you want to do is you want to pick up your eraser and just erase some parts of that layer where you have this um, dark color filled up with multiply layer mode just erase the part where you want to you know kind of show the intense lighting so as you guys can see and i was also kind of playing around with the opacity of the layer as it was too dark so i kept it around 85 percent and as you guys can see i'm erasing some parts of it where i want the light to kind of hit the face and you can actually you know create the lighting effect in any shape it's up to you and don't worry about it being harsh that's what we're looking for now just alpha lock that layer pick up this orange color or some bright color i'd suggest using orange color and just start adding it around the uh, erased part like i am doing right here i'm using soft airbrush to do so and just do that add that orange color around that erased part and as you guys can see it is already looking really really nice now you have to pick up a yellow color which is too bright and saturated as well and add this again add this around the erased part of the face make sure to kind of stick the color to the shape itself and do not spread this color out a lot more than you would do with that orange color i hope this is making sense so i'm what i'm doing is i just actually decrease the size of the brush and i added this color really close to the erased part of that multiply layer i hope this is making sense so as you guys can see this looking so nice it's looking really really nice right now and i'm i love it so now what you want to do is just pick up any bluish or purplish kind of color and add it on the other side of the object or face portrait whatever you're drawing so it actually gives a really nice effect to the whole painting now just release the alpha lock and add gaussian blur you want to blur those edges out they should not be too harsh you can use blending tool but i suggest adding gaussian blur to the layer so as you guys can see i was kind of not sure how much of the blur i want so i kind of played around with the gaussian blur back and forth back and forth just to see what looks the best and i actually added a bit more of blur to that erased part because it was really really harsh and that is done and then i just went ahead and picked up that orange kind of color and i added um it in the background just to make sure or just to kind of depict the lighting or the direction of the lighting that is necessary you have to have some sort of light in the background as well as in my drawing and that is it that is how you create dramatic lighting effect on your paintings i really hope you guys enjoyed this really really quick mini tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and yeah i will see you guys in the next video